Thank you. Good luck, Hannah. Yeah, good luck indeed. Very much uh, for joining us. That was one of our uh, unsung individuals dedicated to driving the <laughs> team. The Talk Sport Clips of the Week. Yeah, it's a little bit later than usual because mm. of the uh, racing, but here we go. We start with Alan Brazil, who seemed keen to avoid certain words this week, such as coefficient. Uh, the mighty Cluj, uh, the mighty, are ranked 288th in the UEFA co um, rankings last night. Uh, list. Yeah, rankings or list, that would work. Yeah, or uh, solidity. There's no doubt that Mr. Dangola Conte, you know, when he's on the side, he gives them that, you know, solidity. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. He's solid. <laughs> Bless you, man. <laughs> yeah, he's I, solid. I love Dengolo Kante. He's, he's a very good old Dengolo. Um, mm. uh, Delalio. England beat Wales at Twickenham yesterday to stop them becoming uh, the number one side in the world. Uh, we're going to chat to 2003 Rugby World Cup winner Lawrence Delalo. Lawrence is coming next. Delalo. He's presented about 30 shows with him. <laughs> it's brilliant, isn't it? And even Andy. Paul. Paul. Two-time Premier League winner and former United man, Paul Parker. Paul Parker, <laughs> Paul as Parker. they call him in uh, <laughs> in Portugal. Yeah, so, exactly. uh, Fisherman's Blues now, uh, which is on Talk Sport 2, just a reminder, mm. every Sunday for two hours between uh, mm. 6 and 8 a.m. now, move from Talk Sport to Talk Sport 2. And Nigel was reminiscing. You've got me down memory lane now, because I used to go in Edgar Thurston's by Richmond Bridge and, you know, Dave Stewart when I was a teenager, you know, and to think he was 90 the other day. I mean, 90. He didn't look that old when he was in the Eurythmics. He didn't. That's, that's incredible. That's very, I mean, like, about Annie Lennox, she's got to be over 100 then on that <laughs> basis, isn't she? You would think. That's very strange. This is a sports bar now, and Andy and Jason are taking a call. Ryan's a Liverpool fan. Hello, Ryan. 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 Ryan, are you there? Oh, he's been old. Look how long he's been holding for. Ryan, come on. It's not Hello? Me. Oh, there you go. Ryan, finally. How are you? Oh, it's Wayne. There we are. There's no wonder he didn't answer. It's a confusion. Oh, he waits it in there thinking, who's Ryan? Yeah. <laughs> Here's the sports news readers James Lure and Ross Powell, and we're guessing neither will be going to Ohio for their holidays. Andy Murray will return to singles tennis action at next week's Cincinnati Masters. Andy Murray has lost on his return to competitive singles action at the Cincinnati Masters. There we yeah, we're calling that the Cincinnati Bungles. Hey. Beautiful. If you like your Thank NFL, you you're clapping that one. <laughs> uh, Andy, what's next? It's Trevor Sinclair watching Arsenal versus Burnley and inventing a new player. It's Arsenal 1, Burnley 1. Absolutely brilliant backup play from uh, Dwight McGale. Yeah, Dwight McGale. <laughs> what a great hybrid. I wonder if <laughs> Steve Clark knows. <laughs> Got to sign up Dwight up. He'd be fantastic with Scotland, <laughs> wouldn't he? Uh, now, we never thought anyone would come so close to this uh, infamous Graham Beecroft clip. OK, Mansfield 1, Northampton 0 in that uh, other player. Sorry, Mansfield 0, Northampton 1. Mansfield 0, Northampton 1. Uh, Day getting the goal after 40 minutes play. Uh, Northampton 0, Mansfield 1. I beg your pardon, let me get it right. Northampton 0, Mansfield 1 in uh, that other playoff semi-final which is going on today. That's the Division 3 playoff semi-final. So it's Mansfield 0, uh, Northampton 1. Sorry, it's Ma Northampton nil, Mansfield one. Let me get it absolutely right in that other playoff uh, semi-final, which is going on today. I've heard that clip a hundred times. I still don't know what the score. Jeff Peters does. Don't worry. <laughs> no, no. Just ask. Just ask Jeff Peters. <laughs> um, but this week, Andy, yes. yeah, Mark Sag has ran it very close. Oh, yeah. Uh, Hibs have pulled a goal back against Rangers, who lead by two goals to one. And uh, in uh, not Hibs, of course, it's uh, Aberdeen against Hibs and um, and uh, Rangers. Sorry, as you were, St Mirren. Uh, one, Aberdeen nil, Rangers two, Hibs one. Hibs have got themselves uh, back into that game. Mansfield one, I think, is the answer <laughs> to that. Yeah. Staying with Sags, here's his and Ray Houghton's considered take on VAR. Is the ball in or out? It doesn't, totally matter, if it's a, it doesn't matter if it's a millimetre out in That's goal line it's technology out. you're talking it's about. Out. That's and goal line saying, technology. That's all saying. No, no. It's a matter of fact. Matter of fact. It no, means no, you're all saying no, or you're not. No, Simple. No. Simple. No, Did the ball no, go to no, line? No, matter of no, fact. No. Anything that's a matter of fact, like that. it's no, good. No. It's brilliant. It's very good. Back to Fisherman's Blues for Talk Sports Expert of the Week. I mentioned it as the big money final. How much will the winner walk away with this year? Now that, I can't tell you. I I have absolutely no idea. There <laughs> we are. Thank you very much, sir. Considering you're organising the whole thing, it's brilliant. Thanks really. for coming on. <laughs> Tremendous. And they were asking some pretty fundamental questions on drive this week. 
Coming up, Steve Smith out. Are Arsenal serious about the title and problems at Newcastle? But first, what is Jesse Lingard? Wow, that's quite <laughs> existential, <laughs> isn't it? No idea. What a question that is. <laughs> and they're drilling down. Uh, so, actually, Andy, I meant mm. to pick you up on this. Have you been moonlighting? No, why? Well, because uh, why did Danny Kelly then say this twice this week? You've been listening to the Press Box up next. It's Jason Cundy and Andy Jacobs and the Sports Bar. Coming up next here on your home of live football, it's the Sports Bar with Andy Goldstein and Andy Jacobs. God bless you all. Good night. <laughs> just can't wait to get think, home. <laughs> why does he think you're doing this boy? I have no idea. You look nothing like Jason. I don't. Um, I've got more hair. No, I haven't. <laughs> oh, hi, hi. He's in in four. Uh, he'll be here at four. You'll be in trouble. I know. Yeah. It's Big Alan again, who appears to have found a lost law in the FA rule book. The rules are, I was reading the, uh, this earlier this morning, the rules are, uh, whether it's accidental or not, if it hits your arm, they can, they can chop it off. Simple as that. Well, really? I mean, that would, that would deal with a number of them. I suppose it really. would, really. I yeah. suppose, ampu uh, yeah. yeah, amputation <laughs> would, uh, would kind of work on that basis. <laughs> so, um, where should we go next? It's uh, back on Fisherman's Blues, of course. Nigel, chatting to a guest. Everyone goes to school, so it's a great time, if you have that in, in the curriculum, I'm sure kids would pick going fish fishing over having less than an English yeah, fantastic. A nation full of illiterate kids, but they could all fish. They could all catch their dinner. If nothing else, really. They couldn't read all right, but, they man, they could catch their dinner. Here's Sam Allardyce channeling both Arkwright and Corrie's Fred Elliott. Yes, I can get that. I can, I can get that. But, uh, you know, uh, and again, two, two, two games in, what, what do you think the, what do you think the, the problems are going to be. Let's say they get the. Let's say they get their energy up. <laughs> I say let's say they get the uh, energy up. <laughs> Fetch your cloth. A bit of both, then. A bit of Count it? Arthur thrown in for I good think measure. Might have been, yeah. um, this is the moose with mm. Chelsea team news. No such luck for Tammy Abraham, who is left on the bench with Tamori as well. So Kepe Aspiricarano is in goal. Who? Kepe Aspiricarano. <laughs> and getting caught in the rain. Exactly. Fantastic. <laughs> yeah. We should have put that to music. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, let's return finally to Nigel on Fisherman's Blues. Regular listeners will know two things about me. Well, more than two, I expect. But here's two they will know. One, I love the River Wye. I never knew that. Yeah. Uh, when I said finally, I forgot there were two on the next page. Doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, and uh, this is Alan, who was clearly... Uh, this, <laughs> this is Alan, clearly riveted uh, by Dean Saunders' Chelsea chat. Oh, sorry. We've got a, we've got a slight issue there. Oh, Not only did... Um, <laughs> Bill, who's on the decks, didn't realise there was two more. That's either. a technical issue here. We've never done that before. We had so many clips, you couldn't fit them all on one couldn't page. Couldn't fit them all on one page. This is Hawksby and Jacobs. Australia 62 uh, for three, three at the moment. They lead by 174. winning lead, I'd say. Travis Head and uh, Marnus Labuschagne are out there at the moment. They're both on six each. Yeah, uh, battle which is winning. fairly perfect, really. Waiting uh, the last two clips of the day. Uh, don't forget, <laughs> it's Jason Cundy alongside Adrian Durham at... Uh, four with uh, drive and I think we are ready to go so oh marvellous we okay we'll reset Kitten playing with a ball of uh, war um, and yeah Alan uh, was big Alan was clearly riveted by Dean Saunders Chelsea chat so Aspilicueta although he's an experienced player he's looking along the line at the two centre backs who were who are inexperienced probably when you <laughs> when you talk about leaders, <laughs> didn't even stifle it, did he? Not even an attempt. It was to quite stifle early it. in the morning. It was. Fairy. Yeah, give him a break. That's yeah. true. And, and finally, and Andy. finally, this is and finally. Here's Darren Goff suddenly shouting, Okazaki. That thing about getting around the pitch, sometimes you need that. You need a player who does that. He is high energy. Okazaki! Always mobile. <laughs> it's like he was playing his joker. <laughs> it was, like it was some sort of game show, you know. And to, you know, like a kind Banzai of game. or something. Yeah. <laughs> Okazaki! <laughs> That's all. Two points down and Goff there for spotting today's <laughs> Okazaki. Maybe we should come up with a game show based around that. <laughs> and yeah, well, we could do. We'll work on that. Yeah, why not? Anyway, uh, there's the clips of the week, and thanks to everybody suggested clips. Quite a long list. Stick with me. Uh, Bruce McNichol, Craig Astley, uh, Craig Mahood, Glyn Barrington, Graham Oakley, Stephen Adams, Reed Anderson, Mel Drew, Big Ack, Mel Drew, Big Ack in Skinburness, Roy Fish, Harsh Rao, um, Roger in Durham, John Cooper, Greeny, Richard Battersby, Alan Jenkins, Andrew Sands, Tony Rosa, Keith Morrison, Kane Green, Danny Coates. If you hear a clip on TalkSpot over the next seven days, please send it. 
Well, um, looking at the uh, odds there, um, what have we got? We have Joel Root as our favourite. He's 72 to he win a couple of runs. Sorry? He can't get a run just <laughs> now. He's doing your odds. Listen, I think, I think it's very dangerous to be writing jo- Joel Root off. Look, in terms of the, um, the over or under mark on England, who's compelling the odds, Diane Abbott? Sorry? <laughs> <laughs> now, carry on. 